Okay, greetings one and all and welcome to day number three, week seven of our journey together. Yes, day number three, week seven of our journey together. And it's definitely a delight to have each and every one of you here. Um, Today, we're going to continue on our journey, going to continue on our expedition of mensuration. And in this journey, we are looking in particular at the topic of perimeter all right so we're looking in particular with the perimeter of these 2d objects and by definition what did we say the perimeter of an object is what did we say the area around it the the distance around the object all right so that was that's what the perimeter is and so we're going to continue along that vein just looking at different questions that involve um, the perimeter. So head up for me, today is Tuesday. No, sorry, Wednesday, my apologies. Today is Wednesday, 11th. the 11th of October, 2023. The subject is of course, mathematics. <laughs> and like we said, we're looking at the theme of mensuration, in particular, looking at the perimeter of these objects. So the topic is going to be, um, what happens if um, I want you to find the missing side, right? But I give you the perimeter. All right, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. I give you the perimeter, but I want you to find the missing side, right? So given the perimeter, find the missing side. That's what our task gonna be for today. So head up for me inside of your books. Make sure head up properly. Like I said, head up for me inside of your books. Make sure I write this down because I'll be holding you accountable to the notes for today. So we said that the perimeter is the distance around an object. And um, we're going to be looking at different objects today. And like I say, I want you to find the, the missing side given the perimeter. All right. So let's look at a three-sided shape, a three-sided polygon. Let's look at a triangle. So let's say, for example, we have this triangle. And with this triangle, let's look at this one. Let's say that the perimeter of the triangle is given um, as 20. So the perimeter of this triangle is 20. That's the perimeter of this triangle, let's say. So we know that the distance around the entire shape is going to be what? 20. So let me... um separated so we know that the perimeter the question says okay the perimeter is 20 centimeters we want to find the length of the missing side so that's the question find the length of the missing side so we have three sides, right? Two of the sides are already given. We know that we know that one side is nine feet. We know the other side is nine feet. What is this this side? By the way, it's supposed to be in it's supposed to be in um feet. So let's make that correction. What is gonna be this side in feet? Okay. So I haven't explained it yet, but if you think that you know the how, how to do it, or if you just want to give a guess, put the answer inside the chat. How do you think we're going to find the missing side? All right, put your answer inside the chat, please. What do you think is going to be the length of the missing side? Again, put your answer inside the chat for me. The length of the missing side. All right. Find the length of the missing side. What is going to be the length of the missing side? Please put your answer inside the chat. We know that the perimeter is 20 feet okay i suppose to put feet here not centimeters we know that the perimeter is 20 feet 
okay, what is going to be the length of that missing side if the perimeter is 20 feet? Put your hands inside the chart for me, please. Again, the perimeter is 20 feet. All right. What is going to be the length of the 20 feet? What's going to be the length of that missing side? So put your hands inside the chart for me, please. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's a 20 feet. So the, the perimeter is 20 feet. That means the length of the whole thing, the whole thing is going to be 20 feet or three sides all together is 20 feet. So if we know that the length of all three sides is going to be all together is 20 feet, what is going to be the length of this missing side? Okay. Several persons have answered is that the child I want all of you to try to answer. We know that the length of the three sides all together, the perimeter is 20 feet. So then what is going to be the length of this missing side? All right. It's going to be the length of this missing side. That's what the question says. Find the length of the missing side. Again, we know that the length of the whole thing all together is 20 feet, right? The whole thing, all three sides, that's the perimeter, right? If we know that, then what is going to be the length of this missing side? Okay. Okay, so let's look at what the chart says. Um, I see five, 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 five feet, five, 12 feet, 12 feet, five feet, five feet, five feet, five feet, six feet. Interesting. 20, um, five feet, five feet, five feet, five feet, five feet. So most answers are five feet. Some people say six feet. Some people say 12 feet and all. Um, I want Latalia. Can you explain how you got six feet for me, please? So I added six plus nine, which is 14. Mm -hmm. And then I subtract 14 from 20. And I got six feet. Okay, so nine plus six is nine. Nine plus six is 14, right? Yes, sir. Class, what is nine plus six? 15. 15, my bad. 15. 15. Natalia. Mr. Petit, I was off by one. Mr. Petit, I was off by one. That's a very important one. All right. So that costs you your whole question. Okay. So um let's so basically, yes, Sianna, you have a question. Can I do this or do I finish? No, um, finish probability first. Did I send you, did I send you, um, no, sir. did I send you the probability complete solutions? No, sir. I didn't. Okay. Let me send you, let me send you that. And I want you to, I want you to do that. Finish probability. And then if you finish probability, then go on the factorization. Yes, sir. See, Anna, I'm surprised I didn't send you that. Now you know what to do, right? Yes, uh, the probability. All right, so to find the length of the missing side, what we going to do, the first thing we have to do is we have to add. So that's the first step. The, so the first step is you have to add. What are the numbers that we have to add? So the first step is we have to add. What are the numbers that we have to add? Six and nine. 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 So we have to add. That's the first step whenever you do this. Add six and nine. Okay, so add. Let me use a color that I know that. So we're going to add. That's the first step. We're going to add what? Six feet plus what? Plus nine feet. What is six feet plus nine feet? That's going to be what? 15 feet. Very good. 15 feet. All right. So six feet plus nine feet is um 15 feet. So the first step when we do this is we're going to add. That's the first step. Okay. Let me um change this to a decent color. Let's use 
Yeah, let's use that. The second step, after we have added, the second step is we're going to do what? We're going to subtract. Okay. So this, in order to do these questions, it's two parts. You add first, then you subtract second. Okay. Now, what are we going to subtract? We're going to subtract the perimeter by the 15, right? So it's going to be 20 feet minus, minus what? 15, 15 feet. And what is 20 feet minus 15 feet? That's going to be what? 15? 20 feet minus 15. That's going to be what? 5 feet. 5 feet. Very good. 5 feet. All right. So again, let me repeat the first step that we're going to do is we are going to add. So we add the six feet plus the nine feet. Okay. So you add six feet plus nine feet. That gives you what? 15 feet. So you add these two. You add these two, six feet and nine feet. Add them two. And then you subtract it. You subtract it from the total, um, the total perimeter. Okay. Which is 20 feet, which they tell us. So the answer is going to be what? What's the answer? What's the answer for this? Five, five feet. Five. five feet. Very good. How many persons said five feet before I even gave the answer? Let me know. Me. 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 All right. Excellent. If you got five feet before you even got me. the answer, very good job. Five feet. This is deep. Yes, Kaden. I got that answer without using a use it using a whole different step. What you did? What did you do? Sorry, I had nine to six, and I count up until I get twenty. And that was five. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a good way. That's a very good way. Mm -hmm. I like that. But you need to show working, so you still have to, you know, subtract, add, then subtract. Okay, but that's a good intuitive way to get it. Kaden, Kaden, why are you duck health science and general science last night? I didn't know that was there. Mm -hmm. It's health science and general science. So remember Tuesdays is health science and general science. We don't yes, we don't so. we don't just do um English language every every evening. Hello, Bethany. Hey Bethany. It's the same link that we that we usually use that we usually use. Let me send it again to you. All right, so any questions on this? Are we good? Any questions? Any questions? I do. Yes, Beth. Yes, um, Jeremy. It's just some points for the next one. Next step, you have to uh, multiply and divide. No, 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 not not with this. Not not with this one. You just have to add and subtract. All right. So yes, let's do it. Uh, Go ahead. With all okay. of them, with all of them now, you have to add and subtract. Yeah, you have to add and subtract. Add and subtract. So be careful. All right. So let's do the next one. Let's do a second one. Let's so let's say we have a four-sided figure. And say say we have a trapezoid. I want you to put your hands inside the chat, please. The perimeter is 24 centimeters. Um, that's what the perimeter is. We have four sides, five centimeters, six centimeters, eight centimeters, and we have a missing side. So the question is, what is going to be the length of this missing side? Put your hands inside the chat for me, please. Um, the goal is, again, to find the missing side. Okay. Find the missing side. This is number two. So find the missing side for me. Put your hands inside the chat once you think that you get it. Again, we know that the perimeter is 24 centimeters, right? We know that we have five centimeters, six centimeters, eight centimeters. The only thing that we're missing is one side. So are we going to find the length of this one side? Please put your hands inside the chat once you have already gotten the answer. Again, put your hands inside it and put your hands inside the chat once you've already gotten your Excuse answer. Me. Go ahead. Someone have a question? Um, I just know what long can can you explain it over, please? Um, I am going to explain it right after I just give them opportunity to try. Okay, yes, sir. Thank you. But basically, let me explain the first one. Basically, what happens is that um, we are missing this side. 
Okay, you need here. We're missing this one. And so yes, what we so. have to do is we have to add six and nine because we know that the total perimeter, they told us the total perimeter is 20 feet. So we, the first thing we do, we add six and nine, they get 15. And then we subtract 20 by 15, they get five. So the missing side is going to be five. And if you add five plus six yeah. plus nine, yeah. you get 20. You understand how to do it now? Yes, yeah, sir. Good. All right. So put your hands inside the chat, please. What is your answer? Put your hands inside the chat for me, please. Um, thank you, Latalia. Thank you, Kevet. Thank you, Dion, Olivia, Sine, um, Kevin, Waterfall, Egypt. Very good. Um, Kaden, Rashid, China, Taya, Namaya, Michael, Shion, Jessica, Dana, Smith, Kemar, and Chai. Thank you all for answering. But everybody put the same thing. Did y'all just put the same thing because? Is the same thing from last time, or do y'all actually know how y'all get the answer? I know, Mr. Patevi. I know how to get it. You actually know how to get it? Um, yeah. Namaya, you said you don't know how to, how to get your answer? Namaya, do you know how to get the answer? No, so I was saying, like, I didn't copy. Oh, okay. Very good, Malik. Malik says 19. Way to be a, way to be a change. Maker, way to wait, 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 wait to not follow the crowd. So, Malik, can you explain to us how you got 19? I mostly added the three sides, Mr. Petit. Mm -hmm. And that's how you got 19? Yes, sir, but I'll have to subtract. Yes, you'll have to subtract it from what? From what? What do you have to subtract it from? Malik, what do you have to subtract it from? From from what? Um, um I need to um... I can't hear you. So class, what's the first step? What we what the first step that we have to do? Add. You have to add. Add. Okay. Five. So plus what, six plus eight. Uh, and very five good. Five so five centimeters plus what? Plus six centimeters six plus centimeters. what? Six plus centimeters. Eight. Very good. When you add five plus six plus eight, what do you get? Nineteen. Nineteen. Very good. Nineteen. That gives you nineteen centimeters. Okay. So, but is that oh. the final answer? No, sir. No, we have to do a next step. Okay, what's the next step? Subtract. No, sir. We have to do a. We have to subtract, right? So we have to subtract. subtract twenty-four. Subtract. What do we have to subtract? Twenty-four. Twenty-four subtracted by nineteen. Very good. Twenty-four minus nineteen. Why we use twenty-four? Because twenty-four is the number. Very good. Perimeter 24 is the perimeter. All right. So we do 24 minus what? 19. Minus 19. And what is the answer? That's going to be 24 minus 19. That's five centimeters. Five centimeters. Five centimeters. Very good. So we get five again. Five centimeters. Please remember to respect your units. I see some a lot of persons putting answers without units in the chat. Do you know that that's wrong? You need to put your units. You can't, just, you can't just put the answer, you need to put your units. All right, so please draw the shape in your book and write down the way that we actually did it. Again, draw this in your book and write down how we do it together. Again, draw it in your book and write down the steps of how we do it. So the correct answer is definitely Five centimeters. Now it's not always going to be five. It's just a coincidence that this time both of them are for five. Any questions? So now we got five centimeters for the second one. Any questions? Yes. No, sir. Okay, no problem. 
Aaron Claire, Aaron, I need to see your notes. You have a habit of not delivering all of your notes. Aaron Claire, I need to see all of your notes, please. And not just some. All right, let's do a third example. So with this example, we have another shape. Um, let's say we have the shape. And we have a missing side, right? But what is the parameter? Let's say the parameter for this one is 27. So let's say that the parameter is 27. Put your hands inside the chat, please. If the parameter is 27, so if P is equal to 27, what's going to be the length of the missing side right here? So again, you know that you know that the missing side is right here. But what you also know is that you also know that the parameter, which is P, is 27. Okay, so it's going to be, what's going to be the missing side? It's going to be the length of the missing side. Remember, we know that um, this side right here is missing, all right? But we know that P is 27 centimeters. Okay, so it's going to be the length of the missing side right here. How are we going to find that? The length of the missing side. What's going to be it? Okay, put your hands inside the chat, please. I need everyone to answer. Also, draw the shape. Once you draw the shape, this is a one, two, three, four, five sided shape. So it's a pentagon and a regular pentagon because the sides are not um, equal. Okay. And so Pardon we have. Me, Mr. Petit. Go ahead. May I please be excused? Excused. Um, my mom will send you a message about it. Um, Mr. Petit. Okay, no problem. May I be excused from the classroom, please? Yes, you can. So we have five centimeters, six centimeters, four centimeters, and four centimeters. But we have this missing side, though. Uh, and but we know that the total length of all the sides, the perimeter, is twenty-seven. So what's going to be the length of the missing side? Right. Um, Elchonique, where's Elchonique? Where's Elchonique? Elchonik, are you there? All right. So put your hands inside the chat for me, please. Let me know what you got. Hey, Elchon. Hey, Elchonik. Yes, sir. Can you what? Can you add a video? Can you air it? Yes, sir. Okay. I was wondering. Okay, no problem. Yes, sir. Let me know if you have any questions, though. Yes. Because it is a difficult topic. But it might not be difficult for you because you catch on very quickly. Mr. Petit, if I take a little too long to put my hands in the chat, I try to write the notes first and then do the question. Okay. But it's not hard. Okay, no problem, Alshon. It's not hard, Kaden. It's, you know, it's straightforward. Um, most persons inside the chat put eight. Why would you all put eight? It's not eight, it's eight what? You have to put behind the eight. Centimeters. 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 Centimeters, Caden. Centimeters. All right. So how did y'all get eight? That's very important. How did you get eight? All right. I added. You added. I everything I six. You add what? You, what what did you add? Everything. Four, four, five. Okay, so you so you did two steps. You added first, and then you what? Subtract. So subtract. Very good. You subtract. So, so let's go and do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is add. Um. So we have five centimeters. We add this side, and we have what? Six centimeters. Okay. Plus what? So we have five plus six plus four centimeters plus what plus four, four. Centimeters. 
centimeter. Now, when we add them, what do I get when you add all them together? 19 centimeters. 19 centimeters. No, 19. 19 centimeters. 19 again. Let's see. 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 4 is 19 centimeters indeed. So you have 19 centimeters. Make sure I put your units. So that's the first step. You add all of them together, all of that, all of them that you have. But remember, the idea is the following. Like the perimeter is the total length of all of the sides. Okay. But we only miss in one side. All right. And so what that means is that in order to get this one side that we're missing, we need to subtract, right? So what are we going to subtract from? 27 subtracted by 19. Very good. 27 minus 19. And what is 27 minus 19? It's going to be 8. 8 centimeters. 8 centimeters. 8 centimeters. Very good. Okay, good. Excellent. It's 8 centimeters. Very good, Um, Jeremy. Okay. Um, I need Namaya. Where's Namaya? Yes, sir. Can you explain how we got five feet for the first one in detail? Pardon me. You can you explain? Me. Can you explain how we got five feet for number one in detail? Okay, so first you add six feet plus nine feet, then you get fifteen feet, mm -hmm. and then since the perimeter is twenty, you take twenty feet. And 15 feet and you subtract it and that's how you got the answer five feet very good thank you waterfall can you explain how we get the answer five centimeters okay for number two addition five centimeters plus six centimeters plus eight centimeters is equal to 19 centimeters mm -hmm. then we move on to subtraction which would be the the 24 centimeters Take away 19 centimeters. Is Why we to... use 24? Because that's the per... Pre... <laughs> perimeter. Perimeter, yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Uh huh. And that's oh. equal to five centimeters. Very good. And Jer Jeremy, you, you volunteered for the third one. Explain how we got eight centimeters. Okay, we added five. Five plus six plus four plus four equals nineteen. Uh huh. So let's subtract twenty-seven for this perimeter. Minus the answer we got from added nineteen. Then we got okay. So twenty-seven minus nineteen is gonna be eight centimeters. Okay, good. Are we done with this slide? Are y'all finished with Here's this slide? Buddy. Yes, Maranik. He saw it interrupt, but. You forgot to find the learner that we sent side. Yes, so it worked using the Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Maranik, thank you. You are so, your eye is very good. Thank you. So that is for this one. All right. Maranik has an eye for everything, so that's good. So the next one is going to be um, eight centimeters. Thank you, Maranik. Good catch. All right. So let me know if we finish with this slide. Are y'all done with writing it? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm going to go on to the great exercises. Are y'all ready for it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Oh. Yes, sir. So don't get surprised or confused with these shapes. All right. It's the same two step process. You add and it's a drag. All right. So let's move on to the next. So one of the great exercises. Let me see if I have it here somewhere. Yeah, great exercises. Um, I don't have the title. Let me put the title up. up. So great exercises. This uh, let me put the numbers on this. exercise number one and let me put that right there 
and let's number it. So, so in each case, our goal is to find the length of the missing side. So this is number one. This is number two. This is number three. This is number four. This is number five. So the goal in each case is to find the length of the missing side. All right. Um, Ajani, any questions on how you're going to do this? How you understand? No, so I understand it. Okay. Aliyah, any questions for, from you? No, sir. How about you, Ashtan? Do you understand how to do it? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Um, Bethany, do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Kvet Presenti, do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Caden George, is everything clear? On your side? Yes, sir, I'm there. Okay. See, Anna, any questions yet? See, Anna? I see, Anna. I can't hear from see, Anna. See, Anna, you there? Let's see if I can call her. Um, Chai. Chai Knowles? Yes, sir. Do you, yes, any, sir. do you have any questions for me? No, sir. Okay. Um, Wait, I do have one. Go ahead. Did you send me the notes from yesterday on that? Um, did you check your phone? I did. I'll check. I sent it along with the... I sent it along with the um along with the link. Um China, any questions from you? No, sir. Okay. And Joseph. Joseph Kalma. Yes, sir. Do you have any questions on how to do this? Uh yes, sir. Okay. What's your question? Give me uh, one moment. Give me one moment, Joseph. Yes, Siana. Um, go ahead, Joseph. What would you, you say your question is? I don't know, like, um, I didn't get the answer for number one again. So what, like you, what you have to do is you have to add six, eight, and ten, okay? Then in order for you to find the missing one, you have to subtract your answer from 31. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Um. Donna Smith. Donna Smith. Are you there? Yes, sir. What number are you on? Uh, number three. And you understand what to do? Yes, sir. Where's the sister? I'm right here. 
Oh, I forget y'all sharing the same um, thing. Um, Danae, I think that's your name? Yes, sir. Um, do you have any questions on how to do this? No, sir, I understand. Okay, that's good. Remember to take a picture of your notes when you're done. For those, once you're finished, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp and make sure I use a ruler. Let me repeat myself. Make sure I use a ruler when you are answering these questions, please. Use a ruler and pencil or pen. All right. Um, Denisha, any questions from you? No, sir. Okay. How about you, Destiny? Do you have any questions? No, sir. Okay. Um, Dion, are you good? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, how about you, Dwayne? Dwayne Slew. Where are you, Dwayne? Yes, sir. Do you understand how to do this? Yes, sir. Okay, Egypt, do you understand how to do this? Or you need me to explain it again? Egypt? That's Egypt. Yes, yeah, sir. Do you understand how to do this or you need me to explain it again? I understand. Um, Dijon, I know you just came. Where's Dijon? Dijon, are you there? Dijon, are you there? Hello, D Dijon, are you there? Can you hear me? I don't know. Your mic is not working, Dion. Dijon, you need to you need to type and let me know if you understand what to do. Um, Garvin, Lawrence, any questions from you? Where's Garvin? Garvin, Lawrence, any questions? No, sir. Okay. And uh, how about you, Gianna? No, sir. Okay. Jalen, do you understand what to do? Yes, sir. Okay. And Jevin Moss, do you understand what to do? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Do you understand what to do? I understand. It's that straightforward. Straightforward, okay. Um. Uh, okay, and Jessica, do you have any questions? I understand, I good. Okay, Kai, Kai Wells, what number are you on? Kai Wells, what number are you on? Kai Wells, are you there? Can I from Kai Wells? Kai, Kai Wells, where are you? I'm on number three. Number three, okay. Kaden Miller, what number are you on? Number four. Um, Kiajane Bethel, what number are you on? Kiajane. Where's Kiajane? Can I from Kiajane? Korai? What number are you on? I'm sending the work now. Say it again. I'm sending the work now. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure you have everything I wrote. Do you have the do you have the questions and and the stuff that I had for the first one? That's all. Okay, and Keytronic, what number you on, Keytronic? Number four. Number four. Kevin and Casey, what number y'all on? Um, I am a number. I'm a number four. 
I am number, I am number two, Mr. Mr. Rabid. Mr. Rabid, you can send them, send them examples in the chat for me, please. Yes, I can. Thank you. And um, let me do that for you right now. So you want the examples? Give me one one moment, class. I must want to send. It. Yes. You could send me the notes from general science, please. What? My power gone off last night. Do you have a phone? Yes, sir. Check your phone. I sent I sent you the notes from from last class. Yes, sir. I always I always send the notes. Um, it's with the link. Once I send the link, it's with it as well. Um, Lanaya. You. Yes, sir. You came in there, not even a good afternoon, Mr. Petit. Not even how is your day? Oh, wow. Because I slipped in here and I was late, you see, so I tried <laughs> to stay as far. Stay low. Out of sight as possible. <laughs> All right. Um, What are you on? I am on 2013. You notice that I send you the rest of probability, right? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Any questions or rose yet? No, sir. I actually understand that that the diagram part was the only part that like con puzzled me. Okay, but I get it. I con puzzle is a word. I don't think so, but <laughs> it's our know, word. I'm a genius. It's... Yeah, so okay. that's what we geniuses do. Just don't do it in an exam. <laughs> May end up with an E. May end up with an E. Oh, wow. Uh, Wow. Um, what happened? You know what? I'm telling my mom. I'm telling my mom. <laughs> uh, okay, thank you. Uh, let's say if you are. What number are you on? Three. Number three. And Natalia, what number are you on? Number five. Number five. And Malia, what number are you on? Number three. For those who already finish, and I know some of you are finished already, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. If you already finished, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. All right. If you're already done. Excuse me, Mr. Batik. This is Jeremiah Johnson. I am having problems with my audio on my laptop. So may I be a student after the PS? I'm trying to figure out what the problem is, but like it ain't showing it's saying I need to reset my laptop and reset it. It's not working. So I really don't know. Okay. Matthew and Olivia, what number are you all on? Um, Jeremiah. Yes, sir. Why don't you use your phone? Download what's up and download download Zoom and use your phone. Excuse me. So, yeah, just download it and if you just zoom it in until you get your laptop sorted out. All right. So, um, I'm saying Olivia and Matthew. Can you all hear me? Yeah, sir. So. Yeah, what number you on? Number three. Number three. Okay. All right, for those who are finished, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Or again, for those who are finished, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, Nathan Higgs, what number are you on? I 
I on number five. Number five. And Navea Wallace, what number are you on? Navea, you can answer inside the chat. What number are you on, Navea? Number three. Namaya, what number are you on? I was just done wrapping up with number five. I'm going to send it to you right now. Okay. Naya, what do you want? Um, I'm currently on 2015, but I'm doing it sporadically because I've already completed some of them. Okay, I understand. Okay, and any questions? Um, yes, you may have to explain 2015 to me, like how you got the diagram. Uh, with the diagram, yes, so with the diagram, I understand how to answer the questions. It's just how I got the numbers. It, yes, sir. Um, 2015, that is what three over four little stuff. Yes, sir. Okay. No problem. Um Onisia. What number you on Onisia? I go in on number four. Okay. And Rashid, what number are you on? Rashid. Rashid, let me know what number you on. Rashid. Number three. Sabria, what number are you on? Are you finished? I'm on number five. Number five. How'd you say number one just now? Um, you understand how to do it? Yes, sir. Okay, good. And Sam Charles, what number you on? Sam Charles, what number you on? Uh, where's Sam Charles? Are you there, Sam Charles? Yeah, I know from him. She on, what number you on? Number five. Number five, okay. Excuse me, Mr. T. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was asking if you could um add my phone to the meeting, but I am. Okay. Um sorry, sorry, you have any questions based on the thing you're doing? No, sir. Okay, what number you on anyway? I'm on number 10. Number 10, okay. And San Santos, what number you on? I just completed number five. Number five, okay. And uh Waterfall, what number you on? Number five. Number five. Vashti, what number you on? I had already sent everything over WhatsApp. Okay, so you finish. That's good. Yeah. And you have no questions? No, I understand. Okay. And Taya, what number you on? I just sent it. Okay. Tanaj Forbes, what number are you on, Tanaj? I'm sending it now. Okay. And Stene Peniman, what number are you on? I finished it and send my work. Okay. So Maya, what number are you on? So Maya. So Maya, you just reached, right? So Maya. So Maya, are you there? Where's So Maya? Yeah, I'm from So Maya. And I think that's everyone. Um, okay, so I think it's time for us to actually go over them. How many persons are finished? Let me know if you're finished. Me. Uh, me. 
finish. That's good. Okay, good. All right, good. Hey, Altronic. Yes, sir. If you notice carefully, it's a playlist. So that was the first video. I don't know if you could see a playlist. Oh, I just showed one video. Yeah, just look in the look in the channel. There's a playlist. It says vectors. Go on the next yeah. one. Did you understand how I got the the it's not okay, Altronic? How much times I gotta tell you? Um, do you let me ask a question? Do you understand the this first one? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, so as you move on, it's just gonna build. Um, I glad you understand this one. So go on to the next one and and let me know if you understand it. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, I think it's about time for us to answer these questions. So I'm gonna check on one more person. Mr. Petit, sorry, uh -huh. bro. I just set my notes on the uh, assignment. Good. Where's Aaron Claire? Aaron Claire, where's your work? You're in this chat, but I don't I don't see your work, Aaron. Hello, Aaron. Hello, Aaron. Can you hear me? Hello, Aaron. Can you hear me? I don't know what happened. Aaron, are you there? Yeah, I was saying, where's your notes and your exercises? What number are you on? You understand how to do it? So. You think so? so? So if you have any questions, why haven't you asked me yet? Yeah, Say it again. Know. You don't know. You have to you have to ask me if you don't understand, Aaron. The first thing you have to do, know. you have to add them. Add them all first and then subtract it from the perimeter. It's only two steps. Okay. Okay. So make sure once you finish with that, take a picture of your notes and also um and also the exercise. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, so let's go over the exercise. Um Put your answer for number one with whatever answer you got for number one. Put inside the chat for me, please, before I actually do it. But put your answer for number one inside the chat for me. Um, again, put your answers for number one inside the chat. Whatever you got, let me know what you got. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add. I'm going to add eight centimeters plus. So this eight plus what? Plus six. All right plus, um, so eight plus six. Oh, it's meters, right? Not centimeters, I'm sorry. So it's meters. So it's gonna be eight meters. Again, if you have already um, finished, finished number one, put your hands inside the chat for me, please. So it's eight meters plus six meters plus 10 meters. So that's how we have to add them first. And so when we add them, what do we have? Well, we have eight plus six plus 10. That's gonna give us what? 24 meters. Now we know that the next step is gonna be what? To what? What's the next okay. step? Subtract. So what are we gonna subtract? The answer. We're gonna subtract what? The answer. The answer twenty-four. Are right, we gonna subtract that? 
from the answer we get from adding the answer we get from adding so it's going to be 31 minus what 24 24 and when we do the subtraction between um 31 and 24 what we get seven what you what you get seven meters seven meters how many persons got seven meters let me hear you if you got seven seven i did i did seven excuse 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 me, Mr. Mr. Bati. Go Bati. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Me you find me you find in the missing side no why? Yes, we are. The missing side is seven. I I know. Okay. I know I didn't see I didn't see you put it on the put it to the bottom like I normally do. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I didn't have enough space. Yes. Okay, so the answer is seven centimeters. So the answer is gonna be seven centimeters. All right. Um, Kaden, I need you to explain number two. Which one? Kaden George. Number two. When I added, I added nine plus six plus 15 plus nine plus 28, and I got 66, which I subtracted by 104, which I got 37 centimeters. What centimeters? Mr. Petit, you might mute it. Mr. Petit, your mic is muted. Okay, can you let me now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so I was saying, so what we have to do is, like Kaden said, add 15, 9, 6, 28, and 9. I hope you all add right. Please put your answer for number two inside the chat. Let me see how you all did that. Put your answer for number two in the chat for me, please. Even before I actually give my answer, put your answer for number two in the chat. So I say 15, 9, 6, 28, and 9. That's going to be, um, I don't want to spill over. That's going to be uh, equal to, um, so we have 15 plus 9 plus 6 plus 28 plus 9. That's going to be equal to 67. Okay. 67 meters. And we could subtract, right? Subtract. What are we going to subtract? What are we going to subtract? 104. Very good. 104 meters. Uh-huh. 74 meters. My, yeah. 104. 104 meters minus 67 meters. I forget the meter sign. Now, when you subtract them, what did you get? When you subtract them? 33. 33. 34. 104 minus 67. Yeah. You got 33, Dion. So 104 
minus 67 is 33. Dion, that's what you got? You sure? What do you all have for, you all have for number two? What do you all have for number two? 37 meters. 37. 37. 37. 37. 37. I got 37 as 37 well. 37 meters. 37. I got 37 as well. All right. Um, Olivia, where's Olivia? Mr. Matik, yes, sir. There's another way to get 37 that we learned yesterday. Eh? Eh? <laughs> how can we get <laughs> how can we get 37 without adding and subtracting? What if we didn't know the perimeter was 104? How could we get 37 <laughs> for M? What could we do? We learned this yesterday. Remember, this whole thing is, is, is the missing side. And we know, I don't want to give it away too much. Well, well, how are we going to get 28, 28 plus um, 9. Very good, 28 plus 9. That's another way that you could get that. Remember from yesterday, that's another way we can get um, 37, 28 plus 9. Mr. Vatikas, play number 5. We are on number three. Going on number three. Um, Jeremy, you saw him get the number five. Come on. All right. Good. China, explain number three for me, please. Number three is okay. Okay, for number three. Oh, we got number three. What you do? I don't know what I, China. Your mic is muted. Oh, explain number Yes, we can. Go ahead, China. Oh, Mister, can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Yes. Okay, I add uh, four, five, and eight on the meters together, and I get seventeen. Okay, so in, by the way, for those um in the chat, put your answer for number three, please, before she explain the rest. Put your answer for number three, which I'll get for number three before she explained it all. All right, you say when you add five, four, and eight, what you get? 17. Got 17, okay, good. And then I subtract, subtract 17 from 23. And you subtract. You subtract 17 from 23. And what and you I get? Got Six centimeters. Six, six centimeters. Okay. Anyone else got six? Anyone else got six centimeters? Yes, no, I got six centimeters. Okay. I did. So the 23 I did. centimeters minus, minus what? Minus 17 centimeters. It's going to be equal to 23 minus 17. That's six, six centimeters. Good. My person's got all three right. My person's got all three right. I did. All three right. I did. I did. I did. All three right. I did. All three. Right. Okay, good. All right. Um, someone asked to do number four. Santos, go ahead and um, do number four, Santos. So, so basically what I did, I added. Eight plus six plus four, which will give me eight here. So you add, you add eight centimeters, uh-huh. Eight centimeters plus six centimeters. Plus six, uh-huh. Plus four. So eight plus, oh, sorry. Let me, let me fix this. Eight plus six. Plus four. A plus six centimeters plus four centimeters. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And that gives you what? Eight. Put your answer for number four in the chat for me, please. Um, again, put your answer for number four in the chat before he gives the answer. What'd you get? 18? No, sir. That's what, that's what you just get when you subtract. I mean, when you add, sorry. When you add, okay. So 18 is not your final answer? No, sir. Okay, so what do we do next? 
and then I just the the perimeter. And I subtract it from the ATM, which it gave me two. And that's my final answer. Two, two centimeters. Yes, sir. Two centimeters. Okay, good. Go ahead. So for 2016, I think you made a mistake on D on the second question for D. You used 90 and 89 instead of 30 and 29. I used 90 and 89. Yes, sir. Is it 16? What? 2016. Yeah, Really? Okay, I'll check it. Thank you. All right, 20 centimeters minus 18 centimeters. That's going to be equal to two centimeters. How many persons got two centimeters for number four? I did. I did. Okay, good. Two centimeters. Most persons got two centimeters. I did. Okay, good. Perfect. Good. Now the final one. Can I do number five, please? Yes, Jevin, you can do number five. So how I get my answer mm -hmm. is I, I um, do A plus A. So let's add this. So the first step is. OK, go ahead. I added H plus H. By the way, put your answer for number five in the chat for me, please. Put your answer for number five in the chat for me. Go ahead, Jevin. Plus four. A plus H plus four. Plus 10, plus 14. So plus four centimeters plus one. Plus 10 40. centimeters. Uh -huh. Plus one. 14. Plus 14. Very good. And then when you add them all, what you get? I got 44. 44. So okay. 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 10 plus 14 is 44. Okay. And what you get afterwards? Then I subtract 49, take away 44, which is five centimeters. Mr. Petit, your mic's muted.
All right. So the last one we got five centimeters. How many persons got five centimeters for the last one? I did. Okay, Javin. I did. I okay. did. I did. Okay. okay, perfect. Now, here's the moment of truth. How many persons got all right? You got Me. all right. If you, got, if you got all right, put 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 I. I in the chat. If you got all right, put I in the chat. If you got all right, let me see. Put I inside the chat for me, please. If you got all right, and don't lie. Um, all right, Javin, Jeremiah, um, Samaya, Egypt, Vashti, Ketranik, Ki Ki D Donna, Destiny, Jessica, Rashid, Chai, Stacy, Gianna. Um, very good, you all. Anyone got one wrong? Anyone got, got one wrong? I did. Oh, Onisia? Okay. All right. I um, only got. I got two wrong. Two wrong. Okay, so just be careful. Just be careful with those. All right, so. My phone Okay. All right. Move right along. So that's how we do this. I think we have time to be to look at another concept in in um <laughs> in finding the perimeter. This is gonna be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how you all tackle this one. So let's go. Let's go ahead and do this one. So this one says find the side length um, of each square using the given perimeter. So we know the perimeter of this. And by the way, it's a square. All right. Please write this down. Yes, please write this down. Um, we're going to do the. Go ahead. Yes. Wouldn't you have to divide four because it's a four side square? I don't know. Put your answer inside the chat. What you think the answer is going to be for the side length? Okay. We know that the perimeter is 32. We know that it's a square. And one thing we know about square, I'm not going to tell you, but use the properties that you know about square to answer this question. And put your answer inside the chat, please. What is the side length going to be? All right. For number one, put your answer inside the chat. What do you think the side length is going to be? Again, put your answer inside the chat for me, please. For number one, put your answer inside the chat for me, please. What do you think the side length is going to be? Um, go ahead. Go ahead, Naya. Um, so it's 2013 BII. Mm -hmm. I'm confused by the solution. Um, 2013? Yes, sir. What's the question about? It's tourists arrive in the Bahamas either by plane or ship. Mm -hmm. While in the Bahamas, take a day trip or they do not. The probability that a tourist arrives by airplane is five over nine. If the tourist arrives by airplane, the probability of going on a day trip is one over five. If a tourist arrives by ship, the probability of not going on a day trip is two over five. I oh. got how you how you graphed it the the diagram i know that part it was just for the solution 2013 for, yes so um let me double correct 2013 um um the first one or the second one the second oh goes on a day trip Okay, that's easy. So, oh, yeah, so it's going to be what you expect it to be. Um, I have, or I expected it to be five over nine times one over five plus four over nine times three over five. But in the solution, you have five over nine times one over four. 
No, it's supposed to be one over five. And then you also have five over, well, I'm guessing 45. So five, 45 plus, then you have seven. No, it's supposed to be. <laughs> this is funny. Anybody could laugh at this. Um, that's wrong. Clearly, that's wrong. I have to do it again. But the the idea is um, it's four over five over nine times one over five plus four over nine times three over five, and then five times one, four times three, is twelve. So that's the correction. Um, yes, sir. that's twenty thirteen, just... right? So yes. Sir. Um, message Lanaya, Lanaya and and Sienna and, and tell them make a note of that, please. Yes, sir. Okay, so what you all have for the side length? Let's see. Eight inches, eight inches, eight inches. How y'all get eight inches? I divide. Divide. I divide. By, divide by what? Four. Uh, Thirty-two divided by four. Very good. Very good. So we know for this one. Please write this down. By the way. So we know that P is what? We know that the perimeter is 32 inches. Okay. We know that the perimeter is 32 inches. And we trying to figure out like what is the side length for each? Like what's what each one of these gonna be? It's a square. And what do we know about squares? All sides are equal. All sides are equal. All sides are equal. That's one thing about squares. So, if all sides are equal, we know the whole thing is going to be 32. We got to divide 32 by what? 32 by 4. Very good. And so, that to get our answer, we have to divide. So, that's for this one, we're going to divide. And so, we have to divide. Um, Eight. Divide 32 um, inches. By four. Draw, draw this, Mr. Bede. Yes, definitely, definitely. It's gonna be eight eight inches. So the answer is gonna be for each side. It's gonna be what eight inches. And that's how you're gonna get a perimeter of thirty two. By the way, please draw this and do two and three. Please draw this and do two and three and send and take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. So do two and three by yourself and take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. We know that this is going to be eight inches. Um, eight inches. And, and eight inches. I help you all with number one. So write number one as the example, but then do two and three on your own. So the answer for the side link is going to be what? Eight inches. Okay, so we have to do two and three on our own. By the way, all of them are squares, okay? Yes, sir. Go ahead. How did you get eight, Mr. Bucky? I divide 32 by four, Jevin. That's not exactly what it is. What it, what it is. 32 divided by four is eight. You see, all these are squares, right? All of them are squares. It's clear they say each square. Why do you all ask me redundant questions? The things say each square. What other shape do you expect it to be if not a square? All right. Um. Okay, so I need you all to do number two and three on, on your own. And once you finish with it, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. So do number two and three. And once you finish, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, um, Marnie, you understand how to do this? 
Oh, well, yes, I do. Okay, how about you, um, Adrian? You understand how to do this? Adrian, do you understand how to do this? Mr. Petit, I'm done. Okay, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp, please. Adrian, do you understand how to do this? I don't have from I can't have from Adrian. Ajani, do you understand how to do this? Where's Ajani? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, good. Okay, Vet Prosenti, you understand how to do this? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Um, Donna Smith and your sister, y'all understand how to do this? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Did y'all send in the first work? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Um, Egypt, do you understand how to do this? Yes, sir. Okay. And Jalen, do you understand how to do this? Jalen? Where's Jalen? Where's Jalen? Yes, sir. Do you understand how to do this? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, once you're finished with this, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Dion, Dion are you done? Where's Dion? I'm here. Yes, sir. I sent it to you already. Okay, good. Um, Kiajane? Good. I can't have him at all. Um, and Kiajane. Good Hello. Hello. How come I can't hear from you in the class? Answering. You're not answering to your name. No, you to call my name, but you to cut off. Okay. Um, you haven't sent me your notes yet. Why is that? I can send them to you. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. I said you haven't sent me your notes. Why is that? All the time I've been asking for your notes and your assignment. Say it again. I don't know. You can't, it can't be, I don't know. You have to send it when I ask for it, Kiajane. Okay. It's not okay. It's either yes or no, sir. You didn't start off the wrong foot. Okay. This is your first okay. week, man. Come on. As simple as sending your notes, man, Kiajane. Please do better. When I ask, when, once, once, when I ask you for the work, send it. Now we're on the second exercise and you haven't sent the first one yet. Please don't do that again. You hear me? Okay. It's not okay. Yes, sir. Get yourself an order, man. Um, Onisia. Yes, sir. Do you understand what to do? No, not really. Not really? Okay, so you notice that these are squares, right? Okay. Yes, sir. How much size does a square have? How many sides does a square have on this here? I'll make sure you can hear me. Onisia, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I was saying, how many sides does a square have? The number two? No. All of them are squares, but I'm saying in general. How many sides does a square have? I think, yeah. Onisia, oh. Onisia. No, 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 no. You're looking at a square. How many sides does a square have, Onisia? Come on. Don't embarrass yourself like that. How many sides does a square have? Four. Four. Let me repeat myself. How many sides does a square have? Four. 
Yes, wow. sir. Good. So now they tell you that the perimeter is 32. Okay. So you have to take 32 and divide it into four equal parts because each side is equal. So oh, how... so we divide them by four. You just divide them by four. Yes. Okay. Now I understand it. Right back. That's fine. And the word is yes or not okay. I know it's all okay. Um, so in each case, you're dividing by four. That's the trick. Um, anyone else have any questions on this that you don't understand? If you don't understand, please let me know. If you do not understand, please let me know. Don't be shy. Um, Joseph, did you send me the first set of notes? No, you did not. As we do, as you do every class, I have to run after you for work. That don't make no sense, you know, at all. Joseph, where are you? All right, so. Where's your notes, Joseph? Where's your notes in your assignment for the first one? Why haven't you sent that to me yet? All right, so. All right, so. No, no, no. They're supposed to be sent to me. I, I keep on saying that. Send the thing to me. Do you like to hear my voice? Do you like to hear me row? Every night, the same person? Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Exactly. We'll send the notes then. Um, so, Maya. So, Maya. Where's Somaya? Somaya, where are you? Yes. Yeah. Um, where's your notes for the first part? I'm not finished. What do you mean you're not finished? I'm talking about this assignment. I'm talking about the first one. Where's your notes for the first part? That's what I asked you. Uh, I finished one of them, yeah. Once you finish with them, please take a picture of it and send it to me. The reason why you're not finished is because you came late and you have a habit of coming late to my class. How do you expect to learn properly if you keep on coming late? That don't make no sense. You need to start coming on time. That's your problem. You're not going to learn much if you keep on coming in late. Um, For those who are finished, take a picture of your work and send it to me, please. How many persons are done? Let me know if you're finished. Me, I am to you. I'm done. How many persons have already sent it to me? Done and already sent I it to done. me. So, I just sent I'm it. Done. All right. Thank you, Gianna. Still waiting on some people to send in their work. This is not difficult. All you're doing is dividing by four each time. Pardon me? I say this is not difficult. All you're doing is dividing by four each time. That's all. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and undo it together. Um, put your answer for number two inside the chat for me, please. Again, put your answer for number two in the chat for me, please, which is your get for number two. Notice that we have the perimeter. The perimeter is 64 yards. Okay, but we have to take 64 yards and divide it by what? 
divided by what? Four. four. If it divided by four. Say 64 yards and divided by four. So for this one, we're going to divide by four. Again, put your answer for number two in the chat before I actually post the answer. So we're going to divide by four. So we have to divide. Now, what is 64 yards divided by four? What is that? 16. 16 yards. 16. So 64 divided by um, four is going to be 16. So what that means is that this is 16 yards. So what that means is that the side length, all right, the side length is 16 yards. So we know that for a square, every side is equal. Um, so this is going to be 16 yards. This is going to be 16 yards yeah, as well. This is going to be 16 yards as well. And this is going to be 16 yards as well. All right, next up, four and number three. Put your answer for number three in the chat for me, please. By the way, how many persons got number two right? Eight. Me. Very good. Very good. 16 I yards. I did. Very good. I did. Awesome. Put your answer for number three in the chat for me, please. Again, put your answer for number three in the chat. Notice that the perimeter um, for this one was 64. If you're not speaking, um, make sure your mic is muted. So you don't want to embarrass yourself in this chat or in this class. So we know that the perimeter is what? 80 feet, right? 80 feet. Mm -hmm. And so we know that each side is equal to each other. And so in each case, we have to divide by what? Four. Divide by four. So this is division, so divide. So it's going to be 80 feet. divided by four, what is 80 divided by four? What is that going to be? 20. 80 divided by four. So we have to basically share 80 into four equal parts. And that's gonna be 20 feet. So the answer here is 20 feet. I got all right. So the side length is 20 feet. By the way, anyone else got all right? Oh, I, I, did. Did. I did. I did. Me. I did. I did. I did. Very good. Perfect. So I got one wrong. So be careful with the divisions. Okay. Make sure you divide it. Take a picture of your work, please, and send it to me via WhatsApp. I think we got time for one more. Very good. I think we got time for one more exercise. I wasn't expecting that we'd have time for this, but it's a good thing that we do have time for this. So this last exercise. So this one is a red. This one is a square. What do we know about squares? Yeah, four sides. Yeah, equal. All sides are equal. All sides are equal. Okay. Um. Oh, Nisia. Do you still don't understand? Or you get it now? I get it now. Okay, good. So for this one, again, let me repeat, for square, this is a property of a square. All sides are equal. And so since all sides are equal, that's why we could divide everything by four. But if we're doing another shape, let's see how we're going to do it. So 
I'm going to move this slide. Hopefully everyone is finished with this. Um, let's do, let's do this one. Good. So for this one, um, I want you to try number one on your own before I actually give the answer for number one. Put your answer for number one in the chat. They say that they want the perimeter of each rectangle. Okay. Um, put your answer for number one in the chat for me, please. What is going to be the perimeter of this rectangle right here? Okay, don't shout out with the answers. Put your, answer, put, put your answer quietly inside the chat. Notice that this is a rectangle. And so they want the perimeter of this rectangle. Okay, put your answer inside the chat for me, please. Or number one. Put your answer inside the chat for me, please. Ajani says 18. Shion says 18. Okay. China says 36. So we know the others. We want the perimeter of each triangle, not triangle, each rectangle, the perimeter. Okay, the perimeter. So work it out. And by the way, draw these because we're going to do this for FTD, do these for exercises anyway. Um, do two and three by yourself, um, but also write, write all three of them, but do two and three by yourself. We're going to do number one together. Um, it's just waiting on for the rest of the persons to answer inside the chat what they think the answer is going to be. So we're dealing with a rectangle and the, and the goal is to find, the objective is to find what is the perimeter of this rectangle. We only are given two sides of this rectangle. So are we going to find the perimeter of this rectangle if we are only given two sides? Okay. For the, for the, for the square, we were given no sides. We'll be able just to divide by four and get it. Now we're dealing with a rectangle. I need more persons to answer inside the chat, please. What is the perimeter for this? Um, Malaya, Malaya, are you there? Malaya, roll. Where's Malaya? Malaya, are you there? <clears throat> Can't have from Malaya. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yo, she said yes. Huh? I don't, I can't hear you. I, I don't know if your mic is working. Oh, you can't unmute. Okay. So 36, 36. Most persons are saying 36. Okay, 18. Natalia, how did you get 18? I add 12 plus 6. And you get 18? Yes, sir. What is the perimeter by definition? What is the definition of perimeter? Um, the perimeter of a shape is defined as the total length of its boundary. So the total length, basically it's the distance around the shape, right? Yes, sir. Not just the distance of two sides. The distance around all the whole shape. Okay. So you can't just add 12 and 6 and tell me that's the perimeter. Anyone else want to help her? How are we going to get it? Because you have to fill out the other sides. We have to fill out the other sides. Very good. So how are we going to fill out the other sides, though? The um, by opposite side is the same. It's the same size, so you just put 12 on the next side, and the top is the same side as the bottom. Just for six, so you add 12 and 12 and six plus six. Thank you. So for a rectangle, opposite sides are what? Opposite sides it's, are it's equal. equal. So if that's 12, this is also going to be 12 yards as well. And if this is six, this is also going to be what? Six yards as well. 
And so if we're trying to get the parameter, the parameter is going to be what? The parameter is going to be what? 36. 12 yards. 36. 12 yards plus what? Plus 6 yards plus 12 yards plus 6 yards. So we have to do the total distance around the whole, the whole shape, okay? The total distance around the whole shape. And so when we add 12 plus six, plus 12 plus six, what do we get? 36. 36, okay. So the answer is 36 yards. All right, please do number two and three on your own. Um, and then take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Do number two and number three on your own. So we know that the answer is going to be 36 yards. Anyone have any questions on how we got 36 yards? Anyone have any questions? Let me know if you, if you do not understand how we got 36 I'm done, Mr. Fatigue. Yes, what'd you say? You say you're done? Yes, sir. Okay, take a picture of it and send it to me, please, once you're finished. Again, once you're finished with your work, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, once you're done, Take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, Ashton Webb. Yes, yeah, sir. Do you understand how we got an answer? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Um, Adrian, do you understand how we got answers? Yes, sir. Okay. And China, you understand how we got it? Yes, sir. Okay. And Calvin Lawrence, you understand how we got our answer? Calvin, Calvin Lawrence, do you understand how we got it? Sorry, I'll send in the notes. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, K. Ma, do you understand? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Kiajane Bethel, do you understand how we got it? Yes, sir. Okay. What number are you on, Kiyajane? Three. Three. Um, Korai, what number are you on? This one, huh? Yeah. Are you asking me if I get a one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Korai. 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 Where's Korai? Right. Mm. Yeah, I can. One moment, not not Korai. Right. Um, Gavin, Gavin Lawrence. Yes. Hello. Are you? Hello. Why are you? Why are you lying on my name? Sir. Why are you lying on my name? Uh, you never. You never asked me to to go in and 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 get no water. Stop stop lying on my name, sir. You never asked me to go and go and go and go and get no water. So stop lying on my name. And like him when me say stop walking up and down when you're in class. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Come on, man. Y'all could lie, eh? Some of you. Not all of you. I can't put all of you in the same boat, but some of you, boy, you're dangerous. 
Um, um, Dijon, where's Dijon? Dijon, are you there? Where's Dijon? I can't help from Dijon. Oh yes, Dijon, where's your work? Hello, hello? Mr. Petit, I finished, I sent it to you. Yeah, Garvin never asked me to go. He was lying. Yeah, I heard him. I heard him. He, he was lying. And I told him straight up, don't lie on my name. So next time he tried it, he deserved a spanking or something. Walking up and down and I, 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 I see him walking up and down and I'm like, what are you doing now? Why are you walking up and down? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to prego too. But he asked me to use the no word, get some water. He didn't ask me to get none. I mean, so far he sent his work, but I still have some more work for him to do. So he need to, he need to, he need to get to it. All right. Thank you so much. No, thank you. All right. Um, Dijon, I mean, I yes, no problem. Um, Dijon, where's Dijon? I need, I need to see your work. I don't see your work, Dijon. Dijon. It's only one Dijon in this class. Don't ask, but which one? Only one, only you here. Yeah? I have a Dijon. I don't have another Dijon. I need to see your work. I ain't seen nothing from you yet all night. So why you come in? If, if you're not going to do the work, why are you not? Why are you inside the class? That don't make no sense. Just tell your, tell your mommy or your grammy that you can't, that you can't keep up with the class. Um, but I need to see your work, Dijon. Take your photos of your work and send it to me. Um, Hello? Yes, mom. Good night. Are you near to Dijon? Yes. Can I um speak to him, please? Yes, you doing this, That's what I'm trying to figure right now. He hasn't sent me his work. That's why I need to speak to him. If he is not doing it, I'm his mother. Could you please contact me? Yes, ma'am. On the phone now. You gotta go to the now. Not in the now. Yes. Oh, it. It. Send it to you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. All right. So let's go ahead and finish up the work. Um, all all of us finished with this. Are we done? On the line. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Okay, yes, sir. so this one is nine feet. So the opposite one is going to be what? The opposite side is going to be feet. what? Nine, nine feet. feet as well. Good. This one is five. And the other feet. side is going to be five, five feet. feet. The other side is five feet. Very good. Okay, so what that means is we have nine feet plus five feet plus nine feet plus five feet. So the perimeter, P, is going to be what? eight feet. Um, plus nine feet, twenty-eight feet plus twenty-eight feet, nine feet, twenty-eight feet plus five feet. Boy, I, I laugh of twenty-eight wrong. I will laugh. Um, plus five feet. Mr. Petit, everybody's so strong about 28 Everyone's feet. so strong about 20. 28. Everyone's so strong about this 28. Because it is 28. Because it is 28. Okay. 20. It better be right. Five feet plus nine feet plus five feet. You all get a lot of confidence in this 28, though. A lot. Plus nine it's feet. It's 28, guys. All right. So let's add it, add it all up. Um, Five plus nine is what? That's 14. And 
plus five and add another nine, the answer is 29 feet. <laughs> no, it's 28 feet. <laughs> uh, so the answer 28 feet. All right. How many persons got that? Me, but I like how you tricked me. I did. I did. <laughs> I like how you tricked me to 28 feet. <laughs> Everyone got 28 feet. Everyone got 28 feet. I get it. Perfect. All right. So let's it. let's um let's do the last one. Um we have 11 inches, so we're gonna be 11 inches here. All right. And the other side is gonna be four inches. The other side is gonna be four inches. By the way, please take a picture of your work and send it to me if you're finished. Make sure I already have, did. Make sure you have all of your maths work sent. All right. So P is going to be equal to um, 11 inches plus what? Four inches. That's all. Uh -huh. Four inches plus. It's a petite dance. It's 30. 30. Okay. Plus 11 inches. inches. Plus 4 inches. 30 inches. Okay. So that means that it's going to be equal to... What is 11 plus 4? That's what? 15? 11 plus 4 is 15 plus 11 plus 4. It's going to be 15 plus 15, basically. So it's going to be 30 inches. How many persons got 30 inches? I got it. Name, I got it. I did. Very good. I now, did. Now, how many persons got I all did. right? Persons got all right. Me. I did. I did. All right. All Me. right. I did. I got it. All right. Perfect. Excellent. Take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um. If you feel like you understood and understood what we did today, put I in the chat. If you do not understand, put you. But if you feel like you understand what we did today, put I in the chat. If you do not understand, put you. All right. All right, so that's the end of perimeter. I think that we're gonna be dealing with perimeter and algebra next week. Um, so look out for that. That's gonna be interesting. Um, combining perimeter and algebra but this week that's it tomorrow is quiz day so be ready for the quizzes based on perimeter on tomorrow um, but now we're going to move on we're going to transition over to English language so make sure to take a picture of all of your work for me and then we're going to move on to English language all right again take a photo of all your work and then we can move Excuse on me, to yes sir May I leave this? Yes, you can. You you send all your work, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Good. I need you. I need you all to take a picture of all of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. All right. Yes, waterfall. I was just saying good night because I'm leaving. You're not taking English? You're not doing English? No, sir. Okay. All right. So that being said, let's move on to English language. All right, so. Can I make a tea, this, Stacy? Yes, I'm going to stop for two minutes, but I'll be right back. Okay, two minutes, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. No problem. All right, so let's begin. Let's head up. Today is Monday. No, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday, the 11th of October, 2023. Excuse me, Ms. Obadi. Go ahead. May I get water, please? Yes, you can. Um, so 
Today is Wednesday, the 11th of October. The subject, of course, is English language. Um, I want us to do a quick recap on what we did on Monday. Anyone can remember what we did on Monday in English language? Correlative Boy. conjunctions. Correlative <laughs> conjunctions. Very good. What are correlative conjunctions? Give me some examples. Either and or. Either, either and or. Uh -huh. What else? But only, but also. Say it again. N not only, not but also. Only, but also. also, yes. What else? Neither or. Neither or. or uh -huh. What else? Whether both or. And and. Both, both and and. and. Yes, no, both no. and and. Both and on. What else? Whether or. Say it again. Whether, whether or. Whether or or. Uh -huh. So we call them correlative conjunctions. They always appear. Do they appear separate or do they appear together as a pair? Open, them up. Open it so you can hurry up pull it. Or correlative conjunctions, do they appear as a pair or do they appear singly? Yeah. They appear as a pair. Very good. Okay, that's what we mean by correlative conjunctions. So today we're going to be looking at, um, you know, in language is always something interesting. Um, we're going to be looking at interjections. Interjections. All right. And I'm sure you all did interjections before, right? In school. Interjection. Interjections. Remember since mm -hmm. I've done inter interjections before in school? I remember hearing it, but I can't remember if I did it. But you when we do the notes, probably yeah. then it'll come back. Yeah, when you do the notes. Yeah, I, I'm sure. Once we go over the notes, um, you'll be like, oh, I remember this. All right, it's very, it's very simple idea. Yeah, it's a part of, should be a part of all grammar classes. Um, and if your teacher didn't teach you it, it's probably, uh, probably didn't have enough time or something like that. But you should learn about interjections. That's, that's one of the fundamentals. So we're gonna start off a, a definition of interjections. So. The definition so interjections um they are often referred to as please write this down again please write this down so interjections are often referred to as exclamations all right They are words or phrases. That are used. No, that's fine. I have interjections or words or phrases. Um that we use to convey emotion or excitement or wonder or awe, right? So they are words used to convey strong emotions. So words or phrases used to convey strong emotions. Or reactions. Excuse me, but the emotions uh -huh. is spelled wrong. Can y'all give me, can y'all allow me a chance to type, please? You realize I'm typing. I'm not. I'm not an AI. You know, right? And, and plus, I don't have a typist. I don't fancy. <laughs> so I'm typing. Give me a chance to type. All right. So these are reactions or sentiments. So we use them to convey strong emotions. Okay. So before I give you an, an example, what words you gonna be you gonna use? Let's say for example, someone surprised you, right? 
what word you might use if someone surprised you or if you see something surprising what word might you use if wow. 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 Amazing. wow amazing shock wonderful sure. like what word were you to say wow okay Ooh. Ooh, okay all right those are what we call interjections what if what if what if you see something sad what would you say Aww. if you see something sad or something touching something touching or, 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 or something heartwarming what would you say oh right those are what we call interjections so we use them to convey or to relate strong emotions or sentiments. Um, they function. Independently. They function independently. Um, within a sentence. And are typically set off by exclamation marks or we can use commas or we can use dashes to set them apart. Um, so it's a part of speech, by the way. Interjections are parts of speeches. So just like our noun and stuff like that are parts of speech, interjections is part of speech. But unlike the other parts of speech, they don't modify other words in a sentence. But what they would be use them to do, we use them to express an immediate emotional response to a situation. Like, wow. Or... Like if you're trying to convey any type of strong emotion, you use interjections. So we use them to relate or to convey Im immediate um, emotional response to a situation. All right. So let's give some examples. All right. So we're going to give common um, interjections and their uses. So let's, let's do that. So common interjections and their uses. So why would we use them? And what are some examples? Okay. So let's look at the first one. So the first one is the most common one is wow. So we use wow to express what? Astonishment, amazement, or what? Admiration. Surprise. Yeah, or shock, right? So, um, wow, that's what we use. Let me see if I can embolden this and give it a different color, say. So wow is a interjection that we use. And we use it to express, like I say, um, amazement, astonishment, or admiration. Um, Excuse me, Ms. Petit. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't this be like onomatopoeia? Mm -hmm. Similar. Similar. I'm thinking about if there's a, you're right. Each of these are automatopoeias, like literally. You're right. Very yeah, because I was very, thinking about that. Very good, very good point. These are all examples of automatopoeias as well. Like, for example, anyone ever, everyone heard of uh, Eureka? Like, Eureka! Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. What does that mean? When, when, when do you say Eureka? Like, <laughs> 
when a what? shock. A shock. <laughs> when you achieve something. When you achieve a goal. Idea. Okay. Say it again. An idea. When you when you when you what? When you discover an idea. An idea, yes. Okay. So we use Eureka to say, I've found it. Right. So when you um so basically Archimedes, they say that he said Eureka when he discovered the Archimedean, when he discovered the principle of buoyancy while he was bathing. Okay, kind of weird. But Eureka means I've found it. So until you discover something new, whatever, it's kind of like aha, you know, like at Sherlock Holmes, you know, the famous detective. Like once you uh, like found something, they say aha, right? That's an interjection. Or Eureka, right? I've found it, right? By the way, anyone know someone who named Eureka? I know someone who named Eureka, by the way. And I was trying to, as I asked them, I was like, do you know what your name means? And they couldn't tell me. So when I, when I see them again, I'll tell them that their name means I've found it. Um, so an example of this would be, wow. Um, that view is breathtaking. And when we say, uh, when we say, wow, we use that to convey uh, an, aston an astonishment, ad admiration for the view, okay? All right, the next one, number two. So how about yay? Let me say yay, what does that mean? You did something. You're excited. Okay. Joy. You're excited. excited. Hyped, up. hyped up, yeah. So yay, so yay signifies um, joy or happiness. How many persons to say, yay, I'm going to school today? Me. Okay. Not me. <laughs> happiness or celebration, right? That's what yay means, happiness or celebration. Okay. So what do you say yay for? Joy. Joy. Like, what, 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 give, me the, give me an example of situation when would you say yay for? Oh, when, I can give you one. Yay. You do. Yeah, give me an example. Uh-huh. Okay, so right, uh, I was excited. I said yay because my auntie bought me my new game. Okay, you said yay when you got a new game. Anyone else? Why would you say yay? Because like I, she, I was waiting for it for a month. Okay, a whole month. And anyone else? Why would you say yay? Because y'all don't say yay for school. So what do you say yay for? Because I won a basketball tournament. You won a basketball tournament. Okay, that's an achievement. Okay. Um. Yay. yay. Summer break. Yay for summer break. Wow. <laughs> Yay, the important is will be done. Okay. All right. Yeah, got my yeah you got your tablet. Okay. Yay, I know yay it's so on Friday. Friday. Yay, it's so on Friday. Wow. How about yay? It's my birthday celebration. That's what I about to That's say. me, but oh. my birthday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's me, my birthday on Tuesday. Wow, you born in the wrong month. Sorry to say. Uh, no, nah, nah, Mr. Bati, don't diss our man like that now. Nah. Don't diss us like that. He's the best ever. Real, because the Sam is the best man ever. That's a lie. Oh, boy. By the way, put the best month in the chat. Put the best month in the chat. What do you think is the best month? The best month. The best oh, month. born on Christmas. <laughs> the best month in the chat. Put the best month in the, in the chat. My, my. <laughs> this. Oh, boy. These wrong months. These boring months. I ain't see the run. I ain't see the right month yet. Good. I see the right month. Someone October put the right. Too. October because bike mm. show not too long just happened. So October is a good month too. <laughs> June, <laughs> September. <laughs> October is my birthday. It's coming up soon. It's Halloween month. Okay, Thank September. You. Wow. I don't see April. I don't see April now. Nobody have it. Nobody say April. Oh, I see one April. All right. Okay. 
So yay, it's my birthday celebration. We use that. Um, so the interjection in the sentence is what? What's interjection in the sentence? Yay. 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 Um, the next one is you. You. What do we use that for? When you something is disgusting or not. When something is what? Disgusting, Disgu disgusting, right? Oh. Or smell, oh, horrible. Smell, horrible. smell horrible. horrible. Yeah, very good. So when something smells horrible, so it expresses expresses disgust, right? Or revulsion, ew, right? Ew, that hot party smells so bad. You. All right. Uh, example. What can we say? Um, you. This food is what spoiled. Yeah. Okay. This food is spoiled. Um, I wasn't. I wasn't supposed to put the exclamation mark here. Just um, the exclamation mark comes at the end, and uh, that's very important. I can put the exclamation mark at the end, but I need to put the comma. So please make a note of that. Um, for the wow and for yay, the exclamation mark comes at the end. Okay. Notice that for each one of these, we separate it from the sentence by using a what, a comma. So every time you're going to use an interjection, more than likely you're going to use the comma to separate it, okay? And sometimes you use an exclamation mark depending on what you're trying to say, okay? So you, this food is spoiled. And do not eat the food, spoiled food. Why? You might get, what we learned yesterday, you might end up getting what? From health science. Food poisoning. Food poisoning. And you might, and you might get sick. pathogenic disease, stomach virus and all that stuff. All right, some people just eat spoiled food from bamboo shark when you leave it in the fridge overnight or when you leave it out. People still just eat that and end up getting sick. All right. How about pew? Pew. What does that mean? Pew. When you get away from when you die. When it falls, a, 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 when a you sigh of relief. A sigh of relief. Very good. A sigh of relief. Or if you hot. Or if you hot. Okay. Sigh of relief when three o'clock reach La Belga ring to come out of school. <laughs> All right. It indicates. It indicates. Um, like when you when it, when you when you just come from uh let's say for example, any anyone class have like air condition. So when you when you come from class, come from outside and you come in the air conditioning, you're like, oof, boy, outside was hot. I I wish I my class was air conditioning. Like only that. my only my classroom have AC. I got on your mark. Yeah. All right. Yes. Like my home AC. Okay. Only the option option room classes have AC. Yes. Okay, good. So it typically relate. It typically talks about. Um, so it indicates relief, right? And you relieve from something. Okay. Phew. That was close, right? If something scary is about to happen, you know, you're like, "Wow, I'm relieved that that didn't happen," right? Um. Pew indicates typically after a stressful what situation. Good. Pew. Okay, now example. What can we say? Um, I can say. Good afternoon, Mr. Petit. I do apologize for my leaving. 
Okay, no problem. Just make sure I take down the notes. Phew. The exam is what? Finally what? Over. Finally over. All right. Phew. The exam is finally over. I can take my rest. That's how I felt. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Can you oh. send in the math thing, please? Um, You can get it afterwards because we're on English right now. Go ahead. What happens if exams or quizzes or test lyrics existed? Um, then we would have no way of measuring um how well do you have retained the information. So I mean, <laughs> well, you need a way to measure how well you understand the information. That's why we quiz you or test you. All right. How about her? Huh? Huh? What does that mean? It means you are talking about Say it again. It means Con you don't understand something. It means you do not understand. So, huh? Like, confused. Like, what is this? All right. So, that means when you express. Um, so, you basically seek clarification. Or express confusion. Huh? What is that? So example would be Huh? I didn't. I didn't. quite catch that. All right. So notice that when we use the inter the inter notice that, we, notice that when we use the interjection, we put the comma. All right. That's very important. So when you're using these con these interjections, make sure you put a comma to separate them. Okay, good. So tell me, Chardonnay, why would we use wow in a sentence? Why would we use wow, Chardonnay? Express astonishment, amazement, or admiration. Admiration, very good. Um, Tanaz, why would we use hey? Oh, Signifies you. joy, happiness, or celebration. Very good. Dion, why would we use you? You said pew? You, you. Um, to express disgust. To express disgust. All right. And Michael, Michael, are you there? Yes, yeah, sir. Why would we use pew? Pew. To indicate to indicate relief typically after a stressful situation. Um very good. Thank you. Um that's true. Some people always use huh, also use huh to for relief as well. That's a good point that Malia made. Um come on, why would we use huh? Huh. Why would we use huh? Kamar. Kamar. Pardon me? Why would we use huh? Huh. Why would we use that? To seek clarification or express confusion. Very good. To seek clarification or express confusion. Good. Now, there's some that I, I did that I didn't mention, like hooray, like oops, like alas, oh. Al alas, alas, yes, alas, that's a good one, alas, ah. oh dear, bravo, right? Those I didn't use, okay, um, but all those are examples of inter interjections that we could use, um. 
I want you inside the chat to create a sentence, create a grammatically correct sentence, which means that you have to use your commas, please. Create a sentence. If it needs an exclamation mark, put an exclamation mark. So create a sentence and put it inside the chat using any one of the interjections, either one that's on the screen or one that you can make up, okay? So again, create a sentence of your own, put inside the chat of any, a sentence containing an interjection. Make sure that's grammatically correct, all right? So you need your commas and your correct punctuation. All right. Again, inside the chat, I need everyone to do this, please. Inside the chat, please put a sentence that contains an, interje an, an interjection. All right, put inside the chat for me, please. Put, a, put inside the chat a sentence that contains an, inter an, an interjection. Inside the chat for me. Make sure it's grammatically correct. It don't have to be. It don't have to be one of mine. It could be one that you have heard before or whatever. Like shh, oh dear, bravo, phew, alas, oh, no. oof, ouch, ah, hooray, aha, oops. What about hey. o? O, yes, o. Very good. All those are different examples. I need you all to answer inside the chat. Please put inside the chat different examples of interjections. All right. I need you to put inside the chat for me, please. Erin, that includes you. Because you have a habit of not putting in your answer. Erin, that includes you. And Malia. Put inside the chat an example of interjections. Again, put inside the chat an example of interjections. Let me read them off. Make sure it's grammatically correct. Why do we have a question mark after, hmm, no question mark. You don't need no question mark after that, um, sis. OMG, that is a, that is definitely a, um, that is one for real. Okay, so let's go over it. Um, okay, phew. I finally finished my work at last. Very good. Phew, I got away from my teacher. <laughs> wow, the tranquil atmosphere of the beach at sunrise, so serene, very good. Dion, hey, yay, I finally get to go with my friends. Yay, today is a holiday, very good. Alas, I missed the train. Now I have to ponder on, a, on an alter, alter, alternative means to get home. Wow, that was a great show. I, I like the fireworks. Very good. Phew, I got away from the killer. Wow, I got an eight on my exams. Ew, this chair smell bad. I like that. Capital letter on the E, Janelle. Ew, a bird pooped on my shirt today. Boy, that's raw. Yay, my 16th birthday is almost here. Wow. Oh, what do you mean we have a test on Thursday? We just had a test last week, Thursday. Boy, that's how you sound for real. Wow, the that bird is huge. OMG, my birthday is today. Very good. Yay, my family and I are going on a vacation this week. Very good. Egypt, Ew, that food looks disgusting. Very good, Egypt. That's a good one. Wow, I can't believe it's October already. Tanaj, no exclamation mark on the wow. Put it on the put it on already. Well, huh, am I going to finish my chores today? That's a good one. Yay, it finally, it finally, it finally day of field trip. Chai. It is finally the day of field trip. 
please edit your work before you send it. Um, yay, it's my birthday. Why are y'all using my my um my one? Nathan used a different one. Oh, I didn't understand that last science topic. Oops, I forgot to take the trash. Oh, I didn't understand that last science topic. Period. Very good. Phew. It's finally time to go home. Phew. That person really smells. Period. Capital letter Caden. Phew. Phew. This, this girl finally let me alone. <laughs> Ew. I hate the sight of blood. Only two W's. Phew. I f I'm finally done with my extra glasses. Naya. What is that a hint of? That's Naya. Not in Mr. Petit. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Wow, I got a PS, a new PS5. Yay, my birthday is tomorrow. Okay, that. Hmm. Did you say something? I like that one. Just it's H M M, no apostrophe, no, no question mark until the end. Yay, my 15th birthday is almost here. Period. Capital Y, Jeremy. Yay, this month is Halloween month. I forgot that. Ashtan, wow. Tomorrow's finally Friday. I wish. Hmm, did you say something? Okay, bet. Hmm, has two M's. Aaron is the only person who has not put put his, put his something inside the chat. Oh, Aaron left. Okay, I don't see Aaron. Okay, good. So are we ready for the great exercise? Yeah. Man, I can't hear y'all. Yes, y'all need to already. Yay. Yay. Well, Thank you. Use the interja interja interjections. Come on. I think that was, a, that was supposed to be a dry yay. <laughs> uh, you know one we didn't say? hee -haw. You know from, you know, from, uh, you know, Disney Snow White and stuff like that? hee -haw. That's an interjection. Um, all right. So. Good. So let's um let's 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 go. So I'm only gonna give you all a few. Um so now nah, that's a happy yay. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh hallelujah. That's a good one. It's hallelujah. All right, created exercise number one. I mean, Miss Baji, may I be excused to the bathroom, please? Yes, quickly. You don't want to miss this. Yeah. All right, yes. Yeah, I didn't send me the notes, please. This one? Yes, sir. Um, let, me, let me put it. Uh, instructions. Pardon, Mr. Bachi, may I go to the bathroom, please? Yes, I already said yes. Interjections. Choose. From the provided word bank given. It's going to be tricky, right? So you, I'm going to give you a list of interjections um, from the word bank, and you got to choose from that word bank. All right. So be very careful um, which ones you choose because some of them might be very similar. So make sure you choose the right ones. All right, so you know, shape fill. All right, so let's go. Make this smaller. All right, good. 
Oh. Wow. Ouch. Alas. Yikes. Ah. Hooray. A L A S. Alas. A L A S. Alas. That's to denote sorrow. Hooray. I already say hooray. Hooray. Oh, by the way, hooray is double O with R A. Bravo. All right. Good. I think I could fit. Yeah. It's crazy, Mr. Petite. Uh huh. You forgot one, bingo. Bingo, that's a good one. Thank you. Pew. And pew. All right, so that's your word bank. So choose from the word bank carefully. All right, so number one. I can't believe I aced I aced my very hard math. Amatics exam. Number two. That stove that hot stove burn my hand. Number three, I left my phone at home and I need it for work. Number four, why does archive have to do with this thing? Number four, I don't know why is this archive like this? Can you give me good? Number four, the sun sets in. The Bahamas are always breathtaking. Number five. We finally reached the summit of the mountain. Number six. <clears throat> I spilled my coffee all over my notes. Why are you drinking and eating? Sorry, why are you drinking and doing your work over your food? Number seven, the rain stopped just in time for the outdoor wedding. The rain stopped just in time for the outdoor wedding. 
number eight. You did an outstanding job. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Mm -hmm. Ain't the t in the T in, in I'm the T in the Bahamas. The it, on bah, ain't the T near the Bahamas. Uh, is supposed to be capitalized? Yes, you're right. T is supposed to be capitalized before the Bahamas. You did an outstanding job on your presentation. Number nine. This food smells absolutely delicious. Finally, number ten. I thought. I lost my wallet, but I found it in my bag. All right, so 10 of them used the interjections I was given to answer them. Did I give you enough? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's only ten of them and only ten of ten interjections. So you know that each one of them is going to be used how much times? One. Once, exactly. One. Once. One. Okay. Um Vashti, what number are you on? Number five. Number five. Um Tanaz, what number are you on? Number four. Number four. Stene Penniman, what number are you on? Number four. You understand what to do, Stene? Yes, sir. Okay, Stacy Pinder, what number are you on? Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. And so Maya, what number are you on? Number four. Number four. Did you send in the math notes? Yes, sir. Shekinah. Shekinah. You calling me? Yes. No, no. Shekinah, Shekinah. Shekina, Shekina Kalma, where are you? Chardonnay, the number one. Number eight. Number eight. And Samaya, what number are you on? I'm on number six. Number six, good. Um, she on, what number are you on? Number six. Number six, good. And Sabria, what number are you on? Number six. Number six. Taya, what number are you on? Number five. Number five. You understand what to do? Yes, sir. Okay, and Rashid, what number are you on? Rashid Forbes, number five, and Naya, what number you on? Number eight. Number eight. And Namaya, what number you on? Number nine. 
number nine. Nevea Wallace, what number you on? Nevea Wallace, what number you on? Nevea, number seven. Okay. And Michael, what side? What number are you on? Number nine. Number nine. Malik, what number are you on? Malik, what number are you on? Malik, roll. I'm on number one, so I just got back from the bathroom, so. Okay. And Natalia, what number are you on? Um, number nine. Number nine. Once you are finished with this, please take a picture of your notes and also take a picture of the graded exercise and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, once you're finished with this, take a picture of your notes as well as the graded exercise. For me, please. Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Go ahead. Um, you can send me on a note because I was in here. What's the name, Janelle? Yes, yeah, so. Which one, the math notes or? The math oh. and the language. Okay, stay back for me. Don't leave immediately after so you can get it. Okay. It's not okay. I mean, yes, so. All right. Um, Malia, what number are you on? Malia, roll. Malia, roll, what number are you on? Again, Malia, are you there? <clears throat> How about Latalia? What not Latalia? Sorry, what number one? <clears throat> number nine, Mr. Petit. I just asked you that. Eh? I'm sorry. Um, Latavia, what number you on? Latavia. Number five. Good. You understand what you're doing? Yes, sir. Okay, Kevin. What number you on? Kevin, what number are you on? Kevin and Casey, what number are you all on? Can't have from y'all. Um, Quarai? Quarai, what number are you on? Nine. Say it again. Nine. Are you right? Did you write down the instructions and the word bank? That's not. That's not. Okay. Oh, I know why. And. Kiajane <laughs> Bethel. What number you on? So, um, I'm on number nine. Number nine. Okay. Good. Um, Kima, what number you on? Done. Done. Did you take a picture of your work and send it to me? I don't have it right now. Make sure I send. When you take a picture of your work, send your notes as well as send your notes as well as um um also as well as the great exercise. Yes, Malik. Yes, Mr. Petit, I didn't get to take down all of the notes. Okay. Don't leave immediately after class so you could get the, the rest of the notes. Yes, I know. Um, Excuse me, Mr. Petit. Go ahead. May I use the restroom, please? Yes, we can. Um, Kai Wells? Yes, sir. Where's your math notes? I, I guess on my work, my notes. Which is I did? Are they on each end of work? I'm looking now. Okay, I see them. How about the English? What number you on? I'm on number six. Number? Number six. Number six. Okay. You understand what to do? 
Yes, sir. Okay, good. Jessica, what number are you on? Number 10. This cup of tea? Yes. Is that supposed to be delicious at the end of the night? Yeah. Okay. Let me see. What now we say again? Is that supposed to be delicious at the end of number nine? Um, yeah, supposed to be. I spelled it wrong. Let me see. No, what I meant was, is the word supposed to be delicious? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's going Oh, I see your question now. I understand your question now. Yes, yes, it's supposed to be delicious. Um. Um. Janelle, what number are you on? I'm number nine. Number nine. Gianna, what number are you on? Number seven. Number seven, okay. Um. Hey, Alchenik. Yes. Um. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions based on what you did? No, sir. I understand. Um. What I need you to do is send me a photo of what you have so far. Then you could go. Okay. Let me get my book. It's not okay, Alchenik. Come on. Okay. Mister Batie. Go ahead. Um. This is pertaining the word bank. Didn't you say we have to use like every word one, at least one? It's only 10 words. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Each word once. I get that, right? But like, how am I, how are you supposed to use the word you? You? That's all. Yes. This one? Yes, sir. Let me see. Like none of these. And I think that's why Sianna asked the question for number nine. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Um, let me double check. Oh. Uh, Mr. Petit. Yeah, I'm out. Were you supposed to put ouch? Oh, never mind. My bad. Yeah, ouch is there. Ouch is there. I see, I see the problem.
Yeah, that's the you forgot to send the notes to me. I don't forgot. I said, um, no, each word is not used once. That's the, that's the thing. Each word is not used once. So you could use a word twice. Okay. Um, Bethany, what number are you on? I finished. I found it now. Okay. Okay, Beth, what number are you on? Number 10. Number 10. Jalen, what number are you on? I'm number 7. Number 7. And... Aiden George, what number you on? I said my work it off. Okay. And Adrian, what number you on? I'm on number 10. Number 10. Okay. Excuse me. Go ahead. You say we use the words more than once, right? Yeah, you can. All right, so can we begin with answering the questions? You're ready for that? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Yes. Good. What do we have for number one? What interjection we have for number one? Wow. What do you have for number one? You. Wow. Wow. Very good. I wow. have hooray. Wow. Hooray. Okay. Wow. Hooray is for something else. So hooray work. Hooray is for something else. Okay. So wow, I can't believe I ate my very difficult math test. Number two, because this is like shock and awe. Number two, which all are for that? I have ouch. Ouch, very good. Ouch. So why is already used? Number two is ouch. Okay, ouch. Ouch, that hot stove, stove burned my hand. So ouch is for number two. Um, and versus got number one and two, right? Make it. I got it. Okay. Number three, which y'all have for number three? I have O. O. Very good. O. O. I left my phone at work and I need it. I left my phone at home and I need it for work. Number four. Wow. No. Number four. I the have sun, wow. The sunsets in the Bahamas are always beautiful, always breathtaking. Oh, number four. Um, no, ah, ah, the sunsets in the Bahamas are always breathtaking. All right, number five. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> no. I, I am at last. I am hooray. 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 It's not at last. It's alas. Okay. Hooray. It's hooray, so we can so uh, at last can work too. No, that's not at last. That's alas. I was I can't pronounce it. I at last. Hooray. All right. Um. The next one is. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah. I'll take yikes. Yikes. Yeah, yikes. Yikes. I spill my coffee over my notes. Or you can say ew. Either yikes or ew. Any one of them could work. 
so I like yikes I spilled my coffee over my notes or you can say ew e w w ah, go ahead I can run the bathroom real quick please yes you can number seven twelve the rain, stopped just, the rain stopped just before the wedding, the outdoor yeah. wedding. I had who rain? Allah. No. Is it few? Few. That's a relief. All right. Few. The rain stopped just before, just in time for the outdoor wedding. Number eight. Blank, you did an outstanding job on your presentation. Bravo. 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 Bravo, very good, bravo, bravo, bravo. Blank, this food smells absolutely delicious. Wow. Wow, yes, wow. That's the word that is used twice. Wow. And... You said only one though, Mr. Petit. And number 10. It's few. Whatever that is. I had few. I thought I lost my wallet, but found I had it in my O. I had O. Okay. Few. O. You could use few or O. Okay. Few or O. You need you lost your wallet. That's, that's, yeah, that's relief. Okay. Pew or O. Either one of them go well. Okay. Okay. So once you finish with your work, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, once you finish with your work, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. That's um, I already sent my work in. Once you send your work in, you can leave. Good night. Um, Hi, everyone except my normal crew. And and the persons who who um who are Good missing, night, Mr. D. Who are missing their notes. If you're missing your notes, I can go back for you. All right. Good night. Good night, Mr. D. Good night. Good night, Mr. Badik. Good night, Johnny. Good night. Good night, Mr. Badik. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Mr. Badik. I sent it to you already. All right. Good night. Excuse me, Mr. Petit, can you send me the math and the um, English notes, please? Um, you want a screenshot? Yes, uh, I know how to screenshot. So once I um, move it, you can... Um... Pardon me? Once I move it, I'm going to let you take a screenshot, okay? Yes, sir. Good. So... This one you missed. You also missed this one. 